Today, I want to show you the boat that is perfect for those who have never sailed before, or indeed for those who have loads of experience, and for those who fall between those two categories. Well, let's say it's the ideal boat to continue sailing with. The Mejolano 43 is made by Azimuth as part of a series of two other boats, the 50 and the 64. Welcome on board the Mejolano 43. We are here with Giovanna Vitelli. Now, Giovanna, Mejolano was the name of a very famous explorer from Portugal. Did you give the boat this name because you wanted to evoke a desire in the owners to explore more? Vero, questa barca si ispira alla filosofia dei troller e con ampissimi Yes, that's true. The boat is designed like a trawler with a big inside space for very comfortable sailing, but with an eye to very efficient consumption, which will allow the owner the freedom to perhaps explore new places a little bit further afield. So can we say that this is a boat for the more mature owner? Ma da un certo punto di vista sì, certamente le caratteristiche che abbiamo descritto ne fanno una barca adatta a vivere. Yes, you could say that. If you consider the comfort and easiness, it is definitely appealing to the more senior amongst us. But I must say that the things we've done to this trawler style boat have made it quite unique and attractive even to first time navigators, or even to those who are switching from sailboats to motorboats. Maybe it's because we've added various design elements to the trawler style, a made in Italy style, which makes this boat more of a glamour item and not just a boat. These boats have been designed to sail long distances. Of course, that doesn't mean they can't be used for brief cruises, but the aim is for ease, comfort and low consumption. Azimuth have succeeded quite simply by drawing upon a very solid boat that doesn't change at different speeds. Exactly like it's a ship. It makes us think of more stability and comfort, but it also explains how this boat will handle even in choppy waters. Commodity and safety are obvious characteristics for those people who don't have a huge knowledge of sailing, but want to try it on their own and need an easy approach to the challenge. Incredibly, this boat is also sought after by those who have had many sea experiences, but as they get older, are looking for an easier boat to navigate with. These trawlers were not created in Italy, and Azimuth, in order to have a series worthy of their name, worked with three objectives in mind, creating the perfect hull, designed by Bill Dixon, designing internal spaces with an Italian feel, done by the Azimuth Style Department, and to give the feeling of charming modernity to this very traditional style boat, both inside and out, this part was the work of Dutch designer Cor Rover, Trawlers usually have an antiquated feel about them, but the Magellano doesn't. The deck has great charm. It is important to move around the deck safely, especially on long trips, and I have to say that even this aspect has been thought of on this boat. This boat has what is called semi-displacement dual mode, which means it has two different performance levels. The first, displacement, when you're going slowly and the trim doesn't change. The second, planing, 
for when you want to put your foot down. But beware, as you put your foot down, fuel consumption increases, even if only slightly. When you reach cruising speed, the boat starts to consume less, as Azimuth has adapted self-contained engines. For example, in this boat, there are two 355 horsepower Cummings, but you can also have 350 horsepower units. The bow stem is very pointed, and so the boat cuts through the waves very smoothly. The stem post, that is the upright that links the bow stem to the keel axis, has a narrow beam. This increases buoyancy, meaning the boat is more stable, as it is in effect longer. Also, there is more volume at the bow, which stops the boat pitching so violently between one wave and another, something which happens to all boats that plane that have significant movement at the bow. One of the reasons to choose this boat is its efficiency between 10 and 20 knots, which is higher than other planing boats. I think 15 knots is ideal, with 2,120 revs and an average consumption of 80 litres an hour. At this rate, the range is more than 300 miles. A tank can hold 1,600 litres, and if you go at a constant of 8 knots, you can get 800 miles out of it. At this speed, the boat is also very quiet, just 62 decibels. To put it into perspective, what this boat can do. Right now, we are on the Ligurian coast at Varese, about 90 miles off the coast of Corsica. If we keep to a speed of nine knots, it would take about 10 hours to get to the island. So we could make a nice day out of it and do all the normal things, eating, sleeping, relaxing, reading. We could set off at about eight in the morning and get to the island at about six in the evening, having spent a very enjoyable day. But the big thing is that we would have only used up to 180 litres of fuel. And if we go at eight knots an hour, we would use only 100 litres. The maximum speed is over 23 knots, actually one knot more than the boatyard declares. The gangplanks blend in so well with their surroundings, they seem to be part of the hull. Both the main and flying bridge have a beam that is almost constant for the whole length, which means there is a bigger space that is habitable. It's a true fly, with lots of outdoor space and perfect furniture. To relax and cook, there's a fridge, ice maker, and even a place to barbecue. And then there's a place to sunbathe and drive, of course. There are two versions, one with a flight bridge and one without, the latter being lighter on the lines and balance. The hardtop version has four windows in the living room ceiling, two of which can open. The mast folds, which means the maximum height of the water goes down to three and a half meters. This was thought of especially for the foreign markets, especially America, where when sailing in internal waters, you often have to pass under fixed height bridges. At the bow, the sun deck is comfy because it is perfectly flat. Its rectangular shape sticks out, which offers a bigger than usual space. There is a sofa at the cockpit and space for a table. But let's have a look inside. It's a boat made for long journeys. So, as you can see, it is very comfortable. In the living area, the focus point of the boat there's the pilot's area, compact, not overpowering, which makes the living area more relaxed. A swivel chair allows the captain to join in with guests too. The kitchen links with the outside in order to easily eat al fresco. The furnishings are warm and welcoming. Materials have been chosen for their color and modern style, and they have just the right marine feel about them. The furniture has been made in walnut and light-coloured textiles make for a pleasing contrast. 
On the low deck, there are three big cabins. The master bedroom has its own bathroom. In one of the other two cabins, there are twin beds that push together to become a king size. And then there's a single cabin. The other bathroom also comes with a separate shower. Il Magellano 43 è lungo 13 metri e 63 centimetri, ma the Mejolano 43 is 13.63 metres long, but for those who have understood the philosophy of this boat, it's worth much more than those measurements. For its big living spaces, its big hold and the great attention that they've dedicated to its safety features. It's a splendid home where you can move around wherever you want for little cost.